Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss confirmations of butane 23 diol. Butane 23 diol has two chiral centers. There are three stereo isomers. These are classified as erythrobutane 23 diol also called mesobutane 23 diol this is the structure of mesoform the absolute configurations are 2r and 3s this is optically inactive due to the presence of this mirror plane in the molecule 3-O-butane-2-3-diol. Two isomers belong to this category. This is the first one with the absolute configurations 2S and 3S. And this is the second one with the absolute configurations 2R and 3R. Both are optically active. Let's first discuss the confirmations of erythrobutane-2,3-diol. These are the two stable confirmations or we can say confirmers of erythrobutane-2,3-diol. In this confirmation, the two methyl groups have Gauss relation with each other and same is the case with the two hydroxyl groups. So, we can label this confirmation as GGE, where first G from the left indicates orientation of methyl, second G indicates orientation of hydroxyl group, and E stands for erythro. In this confirmation, the two methyl groups are NT to each other and the same case is with the two hydroxyl groups. So we can label this confirmation as AAE where A stands for NT. There are two important interactions that disfavor GGE confirmation. The first is Van der Waals repulsive interaction between two methyl groups. And second is the repulsion between the lone pairs of the two oxygen atoms. These two interactions are absent in AAE confirmation due to anti-orientation of these groups. There are two important stabilizing interactions that favor GGE confirmation. The first is attractive interaction between CH bonding sigma orbital and sigma star antibonding CO orbital. Similar interaction is between CC sigma bonding orbital and CO sigma, CO sigma star antibonding orbitals. To understand this stabilizing interaction, let's make flying wedge formula of GGE confirmation. This is the field CH sigma bonding orbital on the left carbon. 
This is the empty CO sigma star anti bonding orbital on the right carbon. And this is the attractive interaction between the filled CH sigma bonding orbital and the empty CO sigma star orbital. This is the flying wedge formula of GGE conformation drawn differently to show the interaction between CC sigma and CO sigma star. This is the CC sigma and this is CO sigma star and this is the stabilizing interaction between CC sigma and CO sigma star. The second stabilizing interaction is hydrogen bond interaction between two hydroxyl groups. Because of these two stabilizing interactions, especially hydrogen bond interaction, GGE conformation is more stable than AAE in low polar media. On passing through protic to very polar or protic solvent, the percentage of AAE conformation increases. Now let's discuss conformers of one of the two enantiomers say 2R, 3R, butane, 2, 3, diol. These are the three conformers. Label them according to the previous convention. In this conformer, two methyl groups and two hydroxyl groups have Gauss relation. So, label it as GGT, where T stands for 3O. This is having Gauss methyl groups and anti hydroxyl groups. So, label it as GAT and label this conformer with anti methyls and Gauss hydroxyls as AGT. In GGT conformer, there are two interactions that disfavor this conformer. Van der Waals repulsion between two methyl groups and lone pair lone pair repulsion between two oxygen atoms. If you look at GGT there are four main interactions that favor this conformer. One is stabilizing interaction between filled CH sigma bonding orbital and empty CH sigma star anti bonding orbital. Two is stabilizing interactions between filled CC sigma bonding orbital and empty CO sigma star anti bonding orbital and hydrogen bond interaction between two hydroxyl groups. GAT has three interactions that disfavor this conformer. These are Van der Waals repulsion between two methyl groups and two Van der Waals interaction between methyl and hydroxyl groups. If we talk about stabilizing interactions, it is liking both the stabilizing interactions, means interaction between bonding orbital and anti-bonding orbital and hydrogen bond interaction. AGT has three interactions that disfavor this conformer. 
these are repulsion between the lone pairs of the two hydroxyl groups and two van der Waals interaction between methyl and OH. There are four main interactions that favor this conformer. Two stabilizing interactions between field CH sigma bonding orbital and empty Cu sigma star antibonding orbital. One stabilizing interaction between field CC sigma bonding orbital and CC sigma star antibonding orbital. The fourth one is hydrogen bond interaction between two hydroxyl groups. Thus, GAT with three unfavorable interactions and no important favorable interaction is the least stable. AGT with three destabilizing interactions and three stabilizing interactions is more stable than GAT and GGT with only two destabilizing interactions and four stabilizing interactions is the most stable conformer. So the stability order will be GGT most stable than AGT which in turn is more stable than GAT in low polar media. On passing through protic to very polar or protic solvent, the population of GGT decreases.